Cubase 6 also comes with some great guitar amp modeling processors. And let me show you uh, what I'm going to do here. I've got two different guitar tracks here. One recorded with my bridge pickup and the other one recorded with my neck pickup. And so I'm just going to solo this track, which is the bridge pickup. And let's take a listen to it. Okay, so it's very stringy and not very uh, exciting sounding because that's just the sound of my guitar recorded directly into my audio interface. And now I'm going to go to that track's insert effects. I'm going to go to the distortion category and select VST Amp Rack. The VST Amp Rack has an interface which all guitar players will be familiar with. We're going to start with some of the pre-effect pedals. These are the effect pedals that come right out of your guitar. And while we're adding these effects, I'm going to press play so that we can hear instantly the things that we're adding. <laughs> So I'm going to install a compressor, click the pedal on, adjust the amount of compression, and then choose which amplifier I'm plugging that into. It starts out with a plexi. Let's go to the plexi lead. The black face. And you'll notice there's a nice little crossfade whenever I call up a different amplifier. And let's go back to the plexi. Let's get a little bit more overdrive out of it by turning up the gain. And then turning up the treble. And then we can choose which cabinet we're going to plug into. Normally, the link amplifier and cabinet choice is selected so that the cabinet and the amp are locked. Let's choose a different cabinet. I'm going to rewind here and go back to the beginning. I'm going to relink those. And then post effects, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a tape delay and I'm going to lock that in time with the tempo of Cubase. So now I get eighth note delays. Now we can go to the microphone position and we get a choice between a condenser microphone and a cardioid microphone, the balance between those two microphones, and where they're being placed, not only in distance from the speaker cabinet, but also from an on axis or off axis angle. Let's listen to some of the possibilities. Here's just the condenser microphone. Just the the uh, cardioid microphone. I kind of like the balance of the two, but then let's move it around. Kind of like that off-axis sound. And then on the master section, we've got a master equalizer pedal and also a tuner pedal, so your guitar player has no excuse for showing up without his tuner because you can plug him right into the VST amp rack. And then the master level. Now let's try a few of the other pre-effect pedals. I'm going to turn down the gain control of the amplifier and use an overdrive pedal instead. Try a different amplifier position for the microphones. Now let's try the same effect, but this time instead of using the bridge pickup, I'm going to select the neck pickup and install the VST amp rack into that slot. Let's choose a very different amplifier now. Let's go with a Fender Deluxe. And 
let's try a uh, fuzz box. Four by twelve cabinet. And post effects, let's use a just a straight ahead delay pedal. So the VST amp rack, it not only sounds great, but it has an interface that guitar players will really appreciate and get use out of straight away without having to read the owner's manual because it's concisely laid out, very easy to understand.